Congratulations, you're under contract. This uh, video is kind of just to go over what to expect when you first get under contract as a buyer, the deadlines that are coming up, what your responsibilities are. Um, you've got a lot of work to do as the buyer now that you're under contract, uh, but we're going to be with you the whole way. Uh, try to make it as seamless and as easy as possible uh, and set up reminders along the way. Um, so I wanted to just quickly go over the main points of timelines and what your responsibility is now that you're under contract. So I've got a copy of the contract here. Um, you should have a copy uh, with, um, with this email if you're working with me. If not, uh, if you're working with somebody else um, and you're not in Jacksonville, contract may look different. Uh, and you can get this information um, from your real estate agent or on the contract um, if you're not using an agent. But this section on the first page is going to be the purchase price. Purchase price is actually under E. Um, so that's what you've offered and agreed to purchase with. Your binder is going to be in this first box on the Jacksonville contract um, section A. Um, now, if this little box here is blank on your contract, uh, it's defaults to three day period. So you have three days to get um, the uh, the binder in. Um, and the minimum amount here is or in the amount that you've agreed to pay as the binder is right here on Section A. Um, where you're going to take that binder to is all the information should be right here. Um, sometimes it is left blank on the contracts. Um, if it is, you can get that from your real estate professional or get a copy of the contract and, and make sure that it is on there. But it should be the name of the title company or attorney that's going to be holding the binder for you. So whatever amount right here is going to be held in escrow by this group right here. Um, still on page one, next section is going to be uh, the financing information. If you're paying cash, if you're doing a mortgage. If you're paying cash, no, no timelines here, but if you do have a mortgage, um, we'll go down to page two uh, where it's going to show you the timelines. Um, this is where you're going to select the type of financing or type of mortgage you have, whether it be FHA, um, VA, or conventional, um, or seller financing uh, if, uh, if you've negotiated that with the seller. Uh, but the application is here on line 82 on page two of the contract in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, it says right there, if it's left blank, it's five days from the day you went under contract. Uh, also, this could be filled in. You could have negotiated longer or shorter, but typical is five days in Jacksonville. Um, line 97 is your loan appro approval period. So from the date of the contract being signed, you have 30 days typically as a standard to have your loan application or your mortgage approved by the lender. Um, if that doesn't happen in time, you could be at risk of losing your binder uh, if you don't file an extension. Um, but 30 days is the time that you have to get your loan approved. So it's important to get that application in as soon as possible. You can also negotiate a different amount of days here. Say for instance, if you're closing um, later, 60, 90 days, say you're closing in three months and you, uh, maybe you want 60 days to get the loan approval, but typical is a 30 day loan approval period. Um, so that are the, that's the deadlines on the financing. Um, the inspection and request for repairs. So you've got, um, typical in Florida is, or typical in Jacksonville is 10 days from the time the contract signed for you to get the inspection. So contact inspection companies, schedule the inspection, go to the inspection, get the report back from the inspector, decide what you're gonna request from the seller, if anything, uh, for them to fix, modify, or give you, uh, give you uh, uh, concessions towards. Um, but you have 10 days from the time you sign that contract to send the require the repair request over to the seller. So you've got to do all the inspection and stuff um, prior to that in order to give you enough time to decide what you want to ask for, if anything, to get it to the seller uh, within 10 days. 
And again, if you're working with me, I'm going to have suggestions for you. We'll handle scheduling that. We'll try to make it, like I said, as little as work on your part as possible. Um, title evidence. This is not something that you have to worry about doing, but you should receive it. Just be mindful of it that you should receive title evidence from the um, closing attorney or title company five to at least five days before you're scheduled to close. Um, same thing with the survey. Uh, you should get a copy of the survey for the property at least five days prior to um, closing. Again, those both can be negotiated different days, but that's typical in Jacksonville. Um, here on line 206, 207, and 208 on page, we're on page four now. Um, that is going to be when you're actually going to be closing. So 206, 207, 208, uh, there's a couple of different ways we can say when closing is going to happen, but your closing date will be determined uh, and negotiated within this. Um, that is pretty much it for, uh, for um, your deadlines. Um, if you're working with me, I'm going to send you an email that has all your deadlines spelled out with the actual dates and the days from, uh, uh, from the trigger date, which is the under contract date. Hope this makes things a little bit easier, clarifies you and gives you what to expect coming up um, now that you're under contract. And again, congratulations on your new home. So exciting. Um, and I'm happy to walk through this process with you. Thank you so much. Bye.